Navigating your virtual classroom course. My account. To access your course, go to the address bar in your browser and enter www.energysafetycanada.com. Press the Enter key when you have finished to load up our website. When the page has loaded, click on the yellow Sign In button in the top right of your screen. Type in your username into the username email box, and then type in your password into the box below. If you have forgotten your username or password, then click the relevant blue link beneath the Sign In button and follow the instructions that come up on the screen. Once you have entered your correct details, then click the Sign In button to sign into your account. From there, click the blue My Account box in the top right to access your account. On the following page, scroll down to the My Registrations and Upcoming Courses section to see your course under the Online and Virtual Courses section. You will see when you have enrolled into the class and when the course starts. To access your course, click the blue Access Course button to the right of your course's title to take you to the course in the same window. Navigating your course. Your course will open up in the same window. Using your mouse, scroll down to look over the starting page of your course. Be sure to first check out the Announcements window and read any information there before proceeding. When you are ready, click the Start Course Laptop image to access your material. The following screen will contain all of the course's folders in blue bars. To access each folder, simply click on each bar for it to expand. From there, you can either click the blue Launch Unit button or click each individual link to access each piece of content. If you click Launch Unit, you will access a text screen with information on that folder. Use the left and right arrows in the top right-hand corner of your screen to access the previous and next activities. Ensure you read the first page in depth as it covers all of the necessary student information. Once you are finished, then click the Next Activity button in the top right-hand corner of the screen to go to the next page. The next page will contain your manual and all of the resources for you to download. Be sure to download all files and follow directions on screen. There are two ways to download your files. The first way involves either right-clicking the image of the manual or the direct text link and then selecting Save Link As. A window will pop up with the save location and if you need to retitle the file. I like it. Alternatively, you can click the link to open the file in your web browser and then select the download icon in the top right hand corner to save a file. If you're using an Apple Mac, then you can either save the file by holding down the control key and then clicking or opening the file in your browser and then selecting the download icon. With downloading files, we recommend that you create a folder for your course to easily collect all files in one place. Here, I will create a new folder on my desktop named after my virtual classroom class and save my manual and any other files I require into here. I do this by right-clicking the desktop and selecting New and then selecting Folder. When this has been done, type in your course's name and then press Enter when you're finished. Now we can save our files into this folder. Using Zoom. When it is time to join your virtual classroom, either click the Zoom Virtual Classroom link in the navigation bar, or click the Join the Virtual Classroom link under the blue course content bar. This will take you to the Zoom page with all of the dates listed for your class. Make sure you find the date for your class on that day, and when you have found the date, click the Join button to the right of the date to join the class. You'll have a choice to either join through the application or through your browser. The next window will ask you to join the meeting, and you will select Join with Video from the options that are on screen. When you enter your virtual classroom, you will see the main Zoom meeting window come up with your controls along the bottom. Ensure that you have your camera turned on for your class by selecting the Start Video button. If it is turned off, then we'll have a red line through the icon. The button to the left of video will have the option to mute and unmute yourself. Make sure you are muted and click the button to unmute yourself when you need to talk. Alternatively, you can also hold down the spacebar to temporarily unmute yourself. 
final exam. When you have finished your virtual classroom course, then you'll need to complete your examination or validate your identity. Click back on your web browser to go back into the course. If you have closed your web browser, then simply follow the process in the beginning of this video to go back into your course. In your course, click on the final exam blue bar and then click launch unit. Be sure to read all instructions on screen before getting started. When you have reviewed the information, click the right arrow in the top right of your screen to start. Review the exam rules screen that will pop up next. After you have reviewed this, then click continue to proceed. Review the next screen's information and make sure you have your identification ready. Scroll down and click start quiz to complete your exam or identification check. Obtaining your certificate. If you have completed and passed the examination or identification check, then you'll be redirected to the course's homepage. If not, then click the title of your course at the top. You'll have seen a widget on the front page titled Course Completion Requirements. When you have passed your examination or identity validation successfully, the content and proctoring boxes will both stay valid. Click the Print Certificate blue bar. If the bar is grey, try refreshing your screen. You can do this by right-clicking on your window and select Reload from the drop-down menu, like or press Ctrl and R on your keyboard. You can also click the Reload circle next to the address bar. If you are using a Mac, then press Command and R on your keyboard, or click the circular arrow next to the right-hand end of the address bar to reload your page. Your certificate will come up in a new window, and you'll have the option to download the certificates by clicking the blue Download PDF box. The file will appear in your downloads and will pop up in the bottom of your screen. The file will open in a new window, and if you click the printer icon in the top right, you will be able to print your certificate. Your certificate will also be available to access within your Energy Safety Calendar account under My Certifications.